Good afternoon. This is Corky Alexander. I'll do a video <clears throat> showing you my um, my Lionel HO train that I bought. It's the nickel plate fast freight set, uh, which you know is a um, a new Lionel train HO scale that has all those. Uh, new features of the remote control system. The layout that I'm doing is a Woodland Scenics layout called River Pass. Now here is a very early uh, progress shot of the layout. We're in the train room here in Alabama and you can see that I have uh, installed the risers. I had a lot of trouble with this end right here because it didn't come out right. It was supposed to be six inches high as it, the far end came out right, but this end didn't come out so well. Kind of have to go slow with these, uh, these kits and the layout because you learn things along the way and you want to tear out and put back as little as possible. I was using hot glue here, glue, uh, foam nails, and there's my foam cutter. And the kit, you know, you follow step by step. Well, I'm not an arts and crafts person, so uh, I've had a little, you know, issues of getting into this. The kit is the layout kit, which you see here, which is not complete yet. And then you get the scenery kit and the building kit, and it ends up <clears throat> looking something like that on the front of the box, you see. So this is my HS scale layout that I'm in the process of doing, and I, uh, am, I know I'm going slow on it, First, because I don't enjoy arts and crafts. And then secondly, because, because I'm not good at it, I have made some mistakes and I don't want to get too far and have to tear out too much. The videos that I've been looking at online, the guys who are building the River Pass model have had a number of issues. Uh, I started out in my model railroad and with the small end scale and then uh, got an HO train from Dr. Hollis Giles via my wife. And then I went to G scale, which is a large scale. Here's the Santa Fe Super Chief here on the back. The G scale is gonna be my Christmas train because this, this particular train was in uh, White Christmas. Now I've got a Polar Express and those are gonna be uh, my my big trains, the G scale, that's going to uh, be out in the shed on a big layout. You notice these shelves that I've got, the plastic shelves that you get at Walmart and other places support the plywood for these layouts. It's a cool idea I got off of YouTube. And you screw those into a half inch plywood. And this is a four by eight layout for HO. Four by eight is not large enough for G scale. And that's why the layout that I'm going to locate in here uh, is, is HO because it fits in this room, okay? The G scale is going to be in a much larger room. Um, so why am I taking my time so much with this? Well, simply because when I'm done with this, I'm done. And so this is a project that I want to make sure I get right. And uh, this, this train layout will remain in this room uh, that I've been able to get for, and it's where the grand boys sleep. There's their bunk beds. So probably should have made those up, but anyway. But when you get older, you get into stuff like this because you can. So this is Corky signing off 
on a model railroad layout, line your trains, have a good one.